How's it going champs and champettes? It's FireMonkey here and welcome back to another YouTube video. So this is part three on how to be a Fortnite data miner. This one is going to be how to get unreleased cosmetics, back blings, locker items, just anything you can get in game in your locker. This includes just random stuff, so like the battle buses, you can get those in your locker using this method, which I will be teaching you how to do that. But before we begin, I must put a major, major disclaimer on this video. So despite how cool it may be for you to go and match and like this doesn't work in game, it only works in the lobby, but despite how cool it could be to like troll your friend, make it look like, oh my god, look, I tricked Epic Games to giving me Renegade Raider, or oh my god, look, I got a free skin early, I got this rare skin that's been leaked back since season 9, such as Airhead early, and I'm the only one with it. You just just know you're risking the ban. You, you, there's a potential that you could get your account banned by doing this. I've never gotten banned for doing this, however, I have done this for a long time. So I make sure that what I do isn't going to get me banned. And it's just you're risking a uh, account ban if you do anything that modifies your files. So you model and F model, those are fine because they don't directly modify your game. However, HXD and 010, the things I'll be teaching you guys about in this video, could get you banned if you don't do it correctly or if you just start bragging all over Twitter. And keep in mind this only works in the locker and in the lobby. So anyone in your lobby can see it, but right when you go into an actual match, they'll see your actual skin. Anyways, I'm going to be doing a tutorial for both HXD and 010 and comparing the differences and which one I prefer, so let's get right into that. If you could, make sure to drop a like on this video by the way as it supports me and makes me want to make more content for you guys. Anyways, on the left side of our screen we have 010 Editor, which is the editor I personally prefer and use a lot. Then we have HXD. Now let's talk about the benefits and cons between the two. 010 Editor has a dark theme. It can allow you to undo changes. So if I go here and I type random words and I press save, I can press Control Z and undo those changes. However, over here, if I type random words and press save, that's permanent. I have to make a completely new backup and re-verify my files. Now for the downside of 010 Editor. It is a 30 day trial, so after each 30 day trial expires, you're going to have to completely delete the program, restart your computer, reinstall the program, just so you can have your trial for another 30 days, or somehow find a way to crack a code in order to give yourself access to 010 Editor's premium version for free. Or, you know, spend like $100 on a premium version, it's up to you. Meanwhile, HXT, completely free to use, anyone can download this, use it for as long as they want, and it's pretty much just a uh, lower quality version of 010, it's free to use, and lacks some of the benefits that 010 has. Now I'm obviously going to be showing you side by side how to do it on both, however I'll only be saving my changes on 010. Alrighty, now to find unreleased cosmetics without actually going in game and looking for them myself is to use a Fortnite ID list by Danny Lex in order to find all the cosmetics and you know put it in game and swap them a lot easier and fnbr.co side by side in order to see what is new and what can I swap. So one thing you have to keep in mind is you can only swap stuff with things you own and the ID length can't be smaller than what it's being swapped with. So let's say I wanted to put a default skin. I would have to swap it with something that has a length of 33 or higher or else the program will just Fortnite will break and be like hey verify your files or your skin just goes poof until you verify them anyways. Now let's go through here on the right side, you can do this with uh, music kits, pickaxes, outfits, and much more. But one thing I do want to mention is let's say you swap this music kit. There is a chance that it won't show up in game, and this is because it will have a different file path than anything else. For example, the Party Royale emotes I leaked such as Clap, Wave, and all these other stuff that can only be used in Party Royale aren't actually in the normal um, dance category, they're in a separate category, which this additional length makes it impossible to swap them with something in this category. Meaning that I, when I made my video talking about it, had to go and actually change skins for the emotes in the uh, Party Royale mode. Now let's go here and find something that we do want to get in game. So as you saw by the beginning footage, I had Razor in game and I don't know if I showed it, but I also put Airhead in my game. 
And as we know, here's the Plasma Carrot Pickaxe. Now this pickaxe has not been seen like in game at all. It's been here for a while back when Gemini got leaked and it's a part of Gemini set. However, it's never seen the light of day. So let's get it in game. So what we're going to go here is go to the pickaxes tab. We're going to press right click on this tab that says C on it. And if you get a different format that doesn't look like this, refresh the page that is linked in the description down below until you get a properly formatted one just so that you can follow along correctly. And then sort sheet Z to A. Now at first it may just look like this and stuff will sometimes go off of the screen, but you want to type in the name of the item you want in game. So for example, the plasma carrot. As you see, here it is right here. It's the, it's, that's the ID. This is the description. The only thing we need to know is the ID and the length. So this has a length of 25. This means if I go down here, I can't swap it for like the pot of gold or whatever because it has a smaller length in the files than it has in like compared to this. However, let's say I go up here and I'm just going to do this as an example and I want to swap it with something else that I have such as the carbine pickaxe. So we're going to grab the ID of the carbine pickaxe, go back down here to our plasma carrot. And like I said, I'll be showing both ways. So you want to press control F on both of these or whichever one you're using. And make sure it's set to look for text, not hex values or integers. You want to type in the ID, but you want to type it in like this. Put a dot after the ID, and then put the ID again. This is how the game files detect, oh hey, this is the cosmetic that goes here. So as you've seen, we have the plasma, well we don't have the plasma carrot pickaxe, we have carbide's pickaxe. Then we need to go back to our spreadsheet, grab the ID for the space bunny pickaxe, and like I mentioned here, you can't just paste it in because boom, it will just break completely. And this is also because Fortnite's open. So sometimes both of these editors just break completely whenever you try doing it. And if this happens, there we go. We're back to normal. So if that happens, just type around, close any programs that have Fortnite open and you'll be fine. So here's the Carbine Blue Pickaxe, aka Carbine's Pickaxe. What we're going to do is paste in this ID and it will say this. This means you've done it incorrectly. What you want to do is type it in. Now, I know that can sound like well, gross, it might sound boring, but that's what you're going to do at HXD. However, in 010, you can click at the beginning, press paste, and boom, you have that. Now, you see there's the E and the dot. You want to replace the E with the dot that follows here and paste the ID again. Now, since we did something that has one character more, we have two extra characters. Now, instead of clicking over here on the right side, we want to click over here on the hex value where 75 is. And it may be a different number combination, number letter combination for you, depending on what you're replacing. But you want to make sure that it's the next non-orange number, and you want to replace that to 0, 0. Now, do this to every number following it until you reach right here where you have another 0, 0. As this is considered a null byte, and this will basically say, hey, we need to stop here. So as you see, I need one more set, we'll do that, and then bam, we're ready. However, on this side, we have to type it out, so since we have the pickaxe ID already, what I like to do is just go 195 and then type it, space, bunny, capitalizations, don't matter, pickaxe underscore ID underscore 195 underscore space bunny. And just like the other one, you want to click here on the hex value and type 0, 0, 0, 0, or however long it is. If you are already at that first 0, 0 value, you don't have to change anything. So let's say I change it with something that has the exact same byte length. So for example, demon stone. We'll do this just to prove it real quick here. Let's say we look for demon stone. Let's click in all because it may be higher or lower depending where it is exact same value so for this I'll just type it in 195 space bunny oh, bunny you can press control Z to uh, undo a change you made if you typed it incorrectly or yeah um, space bunny so as you see that was the perfect length so we don't have to change anything at all and as I mentioned this won't work for things that are lower than the length requirement once we've changed that all you have to do is save it and I'll actually just save the uh, 010 editor one. It's not going to work because we have HXD open, but you get the point if you're on HXD. Now for 010, just save it, same with HXD and launch the game. Alrighty, now we have the game open and we've swapped the files and by that I mean we saved the modified file. 
So we want to go to our pickaxes, and you can scroll down here looking for it, or you can type the pickaxe you swap. So for me, it was the plasma carrot, so I'm just going to type plasma and spell it right. And here it is! There's the plasma carrot, and there's the edit styles. Now, sometimes if you do this, it won't let you change the edit style and be stuck to the blue version. Now, the reason for this is you need to swap it with something that also has edit styles to it. So, as we know, the carbine pickaxe that I swapped it with doesn't actually have an edit style, so technically this can't be edited to be red, just because it doesn't have that. And in order to kind of like prank people in your lobby, you can go to your emotes, look for the pointed out emote, and they'll see it. They'll see this in your lobby, however, when you go in game, since we swapped this with the carbine pickaxe, it will just show us and everyone else the carbine pickaxe you originally had. Like I said, this works for pretty much everything. If you have issues, leave it in the comments down below. If you understand what you're doing, make sure to reply to some people, help each other out. And if this helped you out in any shape, form, whatever, make sure just to drop a like, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Thanks for watching, and I am out. Peace.